and a British rail catering manager has been dismissed after he was caught loading a train with more than the regulation amount of sausage rolls. <laughs> Where's the fire, then? Where's the... What do you mean? Blow into this bag, would you? Yeah, come on. No, you're not trying, are you? Come on. Blow. Come on, harder. Fill the bag. No, come on. Harder. Blow. No, you... Go on. Go on. That's it. Now. And blow. for the pub grub, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is he man? Oi! Or is he elephant? Do you have a biro, please? Thanks. Thank you. Anything else? Yes. Um, I'd like the ploughman's lunch, please. Certainly, sir. <laughs> Housing and Irish architects have designed a house for people who have lots of junk. It's a bungalow with five basements. <laughs> them trying to drink with a bloody beer mat on the end of their glass. Just try and act sophisticated, even if you're not. Sensitive, tolerant, Piscean woman. Mid-twenties, interested, travel antiques, long walks, wishes to meet considerate man for serious friendship. No cranks, please. Yes. And are you... shy, humorous, stout, artistic man, seeks caring relationship and long walks with genuine, sincere woman, non-smoker? Yes. Good. Good. <laughs>
With extra mozzarella! A runny nose cannot be prevented. Old chestnuts of the world. Number eight, the Swedish chemist's shop. Good afternoon. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I would like some deodorant, please. Ball or aerosol? <laughs> Neither. I want it for my armpits. <laughs> We think the motive was uh, jealousy, sir. In this case, I appear for the plaintiff, a Mr. William Green of Beemanster in Dorset. Now, in this case, I appear for the defendant, Miss Diana Rowley of Prostatin Crid. Malad, in this case, I appear to be in the wrong courtroom. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. Come in, Trevor. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Now, stop picking him. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Mrs. Curtis. What can I do for you? Well, I want a termination. I see. Well, with abortion, the first question is one of time. How many months is it now since conception? Or it would be, um... Trevor, how old were you last birthday? Sixteen. Um, 192 months. Well, Mr. Glossop, I have some very bad news for you, I'm afraid. Oh? Really? Yes, the tests came back from the laboratory and you have the highest level of cholesterol they've ever seen. Oh. This may sound a bit premature, but when you die, would you mind leaving your body to me? Well, if I can be of some use afterwards. For research purposes, I suppose. No. I want to hang you up in the garden so the blue tits can peck at you. <laughs> Ruffage K. The whole wheat breakfast. Absolutely nothing taken away and nothing added. It's just bursting with natural goodness. Everything you'd expect to find in a breakfast that has been left out in the rain for a year until the wheat was endowed with a thick crustacean of muck. Nature's muck brimming with the parts of weasels that didn't adhere to the blades of the combine harvester. And creepy crawlies, plague-carrying insects who dribble over it. Trampled by B.O.-ridden incontinent farmers. It's all natural. In fact, it's the bag of nature. Ruffage K, the bag of nature. And so the wicked witch died, and everybody was released from her spell. There was laughing and singing in the streets, and there was no more illness, and there were no more poor people. And nobody had to pay taxes, and everybody was happy and contented, and lived happily ever after. That was a party political broadcast on behalf of the Social Democratic
I think Bob's got it. Bob! Yes, Bob? Have you got Bob's tall wrench? No, Bob, I haven't. Hasn't Bob got it? No, Bob, I haven't. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, Bob's got it. Bob! Yes, yes Bob. Bob? Oh, Bob says you got the tall wrench. No, oh, Bob. Bob! Oh, sorry, Bob. Uh, Bob's got it. Bob! Yes, Bob! <laughs> no, not you, Bob. Bob! Bob, have you got Bob's tall wrench? No, oh, Bob! Bob must have it. Bob! Oh, look, no, Bob, you is... said you had it down here. Bob, 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 and the young lady, is she 16? Not yet. In about 10 minutes. <laughs> Why don't you grow up, you little bastards? What's going on, darling? Nothing, I'm just talking to the plants. Well, with the time coming up to eight minutes past 12. That's the end of broadcasting on BBC Two for today. And so it's good night from everyone here at Television Center. Well, everyone else has gone home, actually. There's, there's only me left, but I'm sure if others were here, they'd join me in, in wishing you a very good night. And don't forget to switch off your set. <laughs>